Hi, my name is Cassie and I'm typically the one behind the camera. However, this time I'm in my home office where I usually edit Sparkfun videos wanting to talk about a pretty hot topic. Now it seems like the biggest thing of 2024 is AI. Everything from it's gonna eventually take all our jobs to Terminator level. And I think the best way to approach something that seems scary is to learn everything you possibly can about it. And so what I wanna do today is create a Sparkfun product with the marketing strategy around it, and if I can, a AI version of Rob to showcase it only using AI. So that's with ChatGPT, OpenAI, everything that it says for me to use. And I'm a millennial, so I'm used to just Googling everything. So this new format is gonna be entirely new to me, and we'll see how it goes. All right, hair up, glasses are on, let's get into this. I have ChatGPT4 up and running. First thing I'm gonna do is just ask for it to make a Sparkfun product. So I'm going to say something along the lines of let's see if that works. Creating image. You know, actually not bad. It has a lot of stuff going on it. Let's see if we can let's go zoom out image and put it All right, not bad. Okay, let's see. Here's an updated image of the electronic circuit board zoomed out on a white background. Oh, they gave us a new logo. That actually kind of looks pretty good. I've never seen a center board look like that, but okay, let's see. Um, all right, we have the board ready. That looks pretty darn close. It has a lot of things going on there I've never seen, but it's a great start. Interesting. They changed it up. That's pretty, pretty weird. It looks like it says Spurk Flun. All right. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to download this. Sweet. Okay. So we have a design ready. I want to create some assets for it. So I'm going to say Let's see what happens. Sweet. Damn. Okay. That's a pretty good setup. It seems pretty general, which is fair because I did not give it pretty much any information. But that's pretty good. So if I were to create a tutorial or a hookup guide, it would follow along these pretty straightforward. So I had this one and here was all the information. Great. Okay. Okay. So we have a design, we have a board, we have a general template of a hookup guide. Now I want to create the marketing strategy that goes around it. And specifically I want to do the video since that's my wheelhouse. And so to do that, I'm going to ask chat GPT generally how let's start with a script. Usually we write some sort of script that goes along. So Generally in our videos, we usually introduce it, have some sort of demo, but I can't imagine I'm going to create a demo through this. Oh, nice. You got scene transitions. Highlighting key features, benefits of new micro and encouraging viewers to visit Sparkfun's website for more information and purchase. Awesome. Okay. Background music starts softly. I love that. Well lit workbench. Okay, cool. This is pretty awesome. If only it was that easy. Okay, so we have a general script. Let's go on from there. All right, so now we need to find some kind of animator. I'm not entirely sure. I'm sure that I can't create straight deep fakes. I need to have some sort of base video that has it. So I'm gonna try to pull a video from our YouTube channel and incorporate this board instead. Let's see if I can find one that makes sense. But then I also need to figure out how to change his voice and have Rob say everything that this narrator has. Um, let's see. Sweet. There are options. We have a bunch of options. Okay. Wow. Okay. So let's see if we can work a little bit backwards instead of just creating from scratch that 
I need to have Rob specifically. So I don't know if I can have AI alter the video straight away with that. So what I'm going to do is So we're going to use Resemble AI. Uh, I looked through most of these. I don't want to have a whole montage of just that. So that is the only one that I've been able to find that has uh, free options that has to have consent for their voice. So I was able to get Rob's consent to use his voice and I have it here. And then I took, let's see, that script, made it all in the one paragraph through ChatGPT and then I put it here to see if this works. Introducing the latest innovation in microcontroller technology, brought to you by SparkFun Electronics. Compact yet powerful, this new microcontroller is designed for hobbyists, educators, and professionals alike, offering unparalleled flexibility and performance. With advanced connectivity options, including this is Wi-Fi nuts. and Bluetooth, integrating with your projects has never been easier. At its core, a high-speed processor and ample memory handle even the most demanding tasks, ensuring smooth performance and reliability. Okay. Fully compatible. This is pretty nuts. Uh, it it's, sounds like Rob, but it's, you know, a little, a little weird. Um, understandable, though. I mean, this is just, like, very quick, just putting this together. Okay, so we have him speaking. We have a board. And now we just need the visuals. So this is, seems to be the hardest part to find. To do this though, I'm just gonna ask ChatGPT, um, is there a free software? Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna pay for any software for these. Or deep fake. Okay, face swap I'm assuming is a lot like the Snapchat face swap, but okay, with all of these, they're not super user friendly and they all typically do in some way make you pay for them. So. I looked through most of them. That made sense for what I'm trying to do here, but it doesn't seem to be working as much as I want. So I'm gonna look at this one that I found, GUI.ai. It seems very crude, but I wanna see if I can create something from that because I have the audio file. Okay, so I put the audio file in here and now I need a face. Okay, so I need to crop Rob's face that seems to be closer and see if it works. I'm gonna take it from a separate video we've done, so. All right, I have AI Rob here and the audio file here. Let's see if it works. Here it goes. All right, let's see. Is it good? Introducing the latest innovation in microcontroller <laughs> technology Brought to you by SparkFun Electronics. It looks terrible. Combat yet powerful, this new microcontroller is designed for hobbyists, <laughs> educators, and professionals alike, offering unparalleled flexibility and performance. Actuators and shields unlocking endless possibilities. But see, nothing happened. I have a feeling that this he's moving too much, or I think they more so prefer like a PNG or a JPEG. That didn't really work, so that's... Pretty frustrating. Almost every option I've been able to find is either kind of sketchy, fair, or requires you to pay to use it, also fair. But that's not typically what we do here at SparkFun. So I have the image of a board that, you know, probably looks okay. <laughs> These are pretty odd on the sides. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. And we have a voice of Rob that sounds pretty robotic, but I'm sure with some tweaking, it could be better. The face recognition stuff, the facial changes isn't working at all for me. The other options that I've found that are on there also just cost money or just does not particularly work for me. So I would either have to create an animated version of Rob, which that's just takes so much more time, or I could go deep into one of these and pay for them and do that. So that's, that's going to be tough. Now, what I've mostly found online is basically the aspect of creating video when it comes to AI is almost entirely around B-roll. So that's the secondary uh, footage of, you know, when uh, Rob is speaking to the camera and that's the A-roll. The B-roll is the close-ups of him picking up the board or anything like that. 
a lot of the things that I found, especially with OpenAI, they just released Sora, I want to say. Sora is the OpenAI version of basically B-roll creation. And no doubt this really freaks out a lot of people that create stock footage because this would be basically taking that out. But I can't imagine it's going to be particularly perfect. It's going to take some time, no doubt. It probably will get there when it's going to be pretty darn good. But I don't know if people are going to then push for that authenticity of actually real footage. See, this is where it's at now, at least when it comes to free. It's only March 2024 and everything is pretty introductory at this point. It's advanced, no doubt, but the actual usability is pretty introductory. For idea generation and assistance in a lot of these things, I think it's amazing. I mean, they're able to put together a script. Sure, it needs a little bit of help. And it's really not too bad. It doesn't, I don't think Rob would ever really say, where was it? Yeah. Um, spark your imagination, spark your innovation, spark fun. It's not a bad idea, but it's not using Rob's typical outro when it comes to our product videos. But then it, it's a learning model, so we couldn't just tell it to, hey, make sure to include this at the end. Hey, make sure to have this kind of setup. With almost no information, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that know how to use these softwares. In my head, AI is not gonna be the one to take your job. Someone who best utilizes AI will. And it's just one of those tools that we need to have in our toolbox because this honestly is part of our future. There's a lot of regulation going around when it comes to being transparent. And there's some pushback when it comes to, especially video footage, because um, the deep fakes that come from it is a little alarming for people that can't recognize when something is fake. I'm curious where that's gonna go because it's gonna be a weird, I think, battle of AI recognizing other AI in order to regulate AI. And I don't know if that's a great idea since is it like the common phrase, garbage in, garbage out? So it'll just lead to more misinformation. I'm not entirely sure. Hopefully it'll work out in our favor. Until then, please let me know if you have any recommendations for different AI softwares that we can come back to this and I will research into and try to recreate this. It would be really cool to actually make this product video for this board, a new microcontroller with a big circle in the middle <laughs> um, that we can then show off what that final product would be once you're actually utilizing these softwares without having to pay for them. That's one of my goals as well. Since we're open source and we want to use open source and with that comes some learning. So <laughs> let me know in the comments below. I'm excited to figure out where this goes.